Hi, Pookie. Have you guys seen people that are online like de-influencing, not just de-influencing, but under consumption or consuming less or da-da-da? I like the idea. I think some of it's a little misguided sometimes, especially when de-influencing ultimately influence. It's like, let me tell you not to get this. Actually, what you should get is this. And I think it's like, was that the point? I feel like that was the opposite of the point, but I like the idea. So I thought, as I come up with my own little things that I do personally to not de-influence because I'm quite literally an influencer. I've always called myself a content creator. If anyone wonders what goes on my taxes, I'm a content creator. <laughs> I always have been. That's always how I've listed it. When people ask me what I do, that's what I say I do because that is quite literally what I do. I create content. But one thing I do is I do buy these candles that I find to be quite pricey. For me, for a candle, I think that these Capri Blue candles, oh, you can barely see it. They're expensive for what they are, you know what I mean? 40, I think it's like a $36 candle, something like that. I get mine in Anthropology. They smell incredible, I mean, incredible. Like, it makes me happy to walk in my house and smell this scent, right? I have Bath and Body Works, I literally have a Bath and Body Works Stranger Works candle burning in the living room, but in my office, I love these candles. And I love them in the living room too, but I just, I can't bring myself to continuously buy them. So what I do is I buy it, I burn it, and then I put it on this candle warmer for months and months and months. I have gone through two this year and it's now August. So they still smell amazing. And it's just because they're just being warmed from the light. And if you look inside of it, there's no way I can burn this anymore. It got burned all the way down, but it still smells good. The scent is still thrown all over this room. Can you smell it all over the whole house? No, you cannot, but I love it. And that's one thing I do personally with my more expensive candles that I don't wanna buy all the time. I just burn them. I enjoy them as they burn. And then I throw them on a candle warmer. I got that for like 20 bucks on Amazon a year or two years ago. I have one in my bedroom as well. I don't burn anything upstairs. And I don't let the kids burn upstairs, so the kids do the same thing, um, except they don't burn theirs first. I save them after I run out of them. I have an entire cabinet of candles. Some of them are, are brand new, but I have a whole side of just burned candles, and I just, I put them on the warmer. Another thing I do, bad lighting, is I use my actual stuff as decor. Like, instead of buying decor, which I'm sure my house would be so much more beautiful and lovely if I would actually put time and effort into sourcing decor and da da da. Like instead of doing that, I choose to display things like a cake stand that I really, really, really like. I do have some candles here. These are useless basically. I mean, unless there's like a tornado or something, which there was a tornado that went two blocks away from us uh, like two weeks ago, that was scary. Um, up here, a bowl and a serving dish. And down here, I have my, uh, this is like a serving set for uh, drinks. You put the little garnishes and stuff in here and it comes with a tray and sometimes I use that tray for like charcuterie, stuff like that. And then I have my appetizer plates, which I absolutely love <laughs> and I wish they still sold them. Um, but that's, that's what I'm using. And then over here, this is not ideal and it's really probably not for everybody, but I just use my cookbooks. Like <laughs> you guys know that I use a lot of cookbooks. I have a bit of an obsession with the the human body. I really, really, really like women's bodies, male body. I like to see bodies, so I did buy this little vase for that. And besides that, we have a ton of cookbooks, a ton of cookbooks. Um, and then we have this little this little guy here. And I have a record player that my mom got me for Christmas. And then this the candles don't belong here, but I haven't made space in the uh, little candle thing for them yet. And I don't normally buy this many. I think I told you guys, they had sent me a shipment and one of them broke, so they just resent them all because I don't think they knew which one broke. So they resent them all, so I ended up with duplicates. And the main thing that I think caused me to even think about this was not necessarily actually the underconsumption videos because I think it's a deeper subject. Let's not. But plenty of people have done some, you know, think pieces on it, etc. So, you know, if you're interested, I, there's plenty on YouTube and stuff. But I have been seeing so many videos of people going into massive amounts of debt, credit card debt, um, especially. So, you know, beyond student loans and, and mortgages and that kind of stuff, but like actual credit card debt, afterpay, Klarna, et cetera, et cetera, like going into crazy amounts of debt for this abundance of stuff that they don't, um, beyond not needing it, 
I don't even think some people want it. Not in the long term. You want it for the second, but you don't necessarily want it in the long term. And it just got me thinking of like those types of situations where you go into a ton of debt, right? That can happen to anybody regardless of how much money you're making. Obviously, if you're making less, it's going to be easier. If you're making a lot, you'd be surprised how quickly you could go into a lot of debt because then you're being offered more money to spend. It's been on my mind a lot lately. And so that's why I wanted to just mention a couple of things that I personally do that have maybe a small impact, but mentally they are constantly reminding me to be mindful of where I am choosing to spend my money. I still have some work to do though. I admit that. <laughs> One more thing I like to do because I realize that, uh, I don't know, I'll eat leftovers two, three, four days past, but I noticed the kids really won't. It gets to be annoying to just like see it sitting there and going and going. So I made this stuff yesterday. It doesn't look the best right now, but it was like a sheet pan dinner and then I did like a teriyaki chicken situation. Anyway, it was really good, I thought. And at this point, it's like 80% chicken and just a little bit of like the broccoli, asparagus, like the, the rice mixture. The rest of it's just the chicken mixture. And then I have this little sauce thing that I had on the side. It was just extra, but I have to make this myself, so I usually keep it in case it's a little dry. Anyway, I had lunch and I ate it. Jaden had lunch, he ate it. I made it for dinner last night. I'm really, <laughs> really struggling. What? I just lost my, my whole breath right there. It just it felt like somebody oh. sucked it out of me. I made it for dinner last night, so it hasn't even been 24 hours, but I already know that kid's not going for it again. That kid's definitely not going for it. I don't want it to sit there and just go bad, so at this point, I usually make the executive decision to throw it into one of these plastic containers. They're not meant to be frozen necessarily, but they work just fine. They're by Rubbermaid. I bought a pack of them. What? Your hair is eating. Has anybody told you that yet? <laughs> I hope everybody tells me. I hope everyone thinks right now that my hair is eating. And normally when you buy like the Asian stuff and they have the packets of the sauce or whatever, they're, they're just frozen right along with the food. So I'm gonna pack this portion into this side. I'm gonna throw the sauce into this side and then we're just gonna go ahead and freeze this. And I have some other ones in there. I have like leftover rice and some beef or something like ground beef that didn't get made into anything. So it's like rice and ground beef. I've had like, uh, when all the vegetables were going bad, I just cooked them all up in the oven. Jaden ate a bunch for dinner that day. The rest of them ended up going into a container along with whatever the protein was that I had that, or like pork sausage or something like that. Anyway, this is what I like to do with our leftovers when I can already anticipate they're gonna end up in the trash. I mean, a girl can only eat this for so many days before she's gonna have an attitude about it. It's been so many hours and you never moved. So I adjusted the angle for you. We left, we came back, we went here, we went. Life happened, but here I am. One thing I used to do is buy a lot of pre-cut fruit and vegetables and stuff. And you know, if you need it, buy it. But I don't need it, so I would rather just take the time to cut things up myself, teach the kids how to do it, you know, so they can do it themselves too. But yeah, and I find that with fruits and vegetables for us, as long as I cut, wash, prep, as long as I prep them in the way that they're gonna be consumed, I mean, and this goes down to how they get placed in the fridge, what level they're at, how is there anything in front of it? Like, there's a science to this, okay? I know how these people's brains work. As long as I do all that, it gets eaten. And that includes me. I mean, I am also like benefiting from this habit of prepping everything. So normally I do everything when I, when I buy it. I build in the time to do it when I buy it. Sometimes I don't have space for all of it. So now that all the berries are gone, the grapes are all gone. The grapes are so delectable. I know. There's still cherries. You guys never eat the cherries. Cause I feel like there's one more step that needs to be done there. And I won't pit those cherries myself because they can do it if they wanted to eat them. And because- but I don't like eating them because of the pits. They're so annoying. Right, so, so this is where I d decide, do I stop buying them even though I enjoy them, but I can't eat a whole thing of them. Like I'm not, I can't support that on my own really. I don't eat enough of them. Or do I start prepping them by pitting them and then sealing them to a container? Can you bring in school? Then you can, it's just a pain. Plus, mom's got braces, yeah. I know it's annoying. So that's a decision that'll be made because I have been buying them and they're not going to waste, but it ends up on me to be shoving them in every time I get a new uh, round of fruit. Anyway, the camera's gonna die, but I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. But that goes for everything. I have some garlic over here that's been sitting here for a bit. I think I'm gonna cut all of it and either throw it in the freezer so you can pop one out to eat whenever, or make it into those little ice cube things that people do sometimes so you can toss it in your food like after you've cooked it or while you're cooking. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, this battery's about to die. Yes, not a lot of garlic. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check in on you guys tomorrow.
Another trip to the movie theater. Shocking? No. Are there a million people? Perhaps. No. No. We just don't think it's going to be packed. It's not that. What do you mean it's going to be packed? We're here already. I know. I, I mean inside that theater for this showing. Yeah. We want to see it ends with us. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> Sorry. I'm confusing it with the second one. I want to pop in to say it was packed. It was hella packed in there. I think he didn't know how popular like that movie was. We went on Saturday, I think, the day after it got released. We might have gone the day it got released. Oh, but it was hella packed in there, girl. We had to sit in the front in the crusty chairs that all the leather's peeling off from. It's fun. A bunch of you have asked me if I went to go and see it, so obviously I did go see it. And my review? I don't know. I haven't read the book in a while. Obviously, I knew the general vibe of it. I thought Justin Baldoni was a good Ryle. I didn't really like the Atlas character, the actor in, in the, I don't know. And I, I was a little turned off by the whole vibe of Lily because she was supposed to be, you know, a little, a little younger, at least Mama and Girly was a little younger than that. Uh, not quite as eclectic. Yeah, overall, it was fine. Uh, it's not one I'm gonna go back and watch and watch and watch because I love it so much. It's, that's not gonna happen. Like Me Before You, another movie based on a novel, obsessed have watched it so many times the hating game another more rom com -y kind of movie based on a novel love it have watched it dozens of times a walk to remember movie based on a novel another romance but love it have literally seen it over a hundred times easily H hundreds of times so i love movie adaptations of books girl i do crazy rich asians Every time I'm on a plane, what do you mean? No, seriously, I love that. I love that movie as well. I love that, and this is not that for me. So I sincerely doubt I will ever willingly watch this movie again. Um, but I'd be interested to hear your guys' thoughts, because if you felt differently about the book and et cetera, et cetera. I also don't love all the media surrounding it right now. Like, it's, I, I, I don't know. Is it is it they're trying to get us to talk about it? Uh, what's going on? And frankly, I don't care. I don't care, and I think that's part of why I don't like the media surrounding it. I know a lot of people find it very, oh my gosh, and then did you see this, and did you see this? And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. It's detracting from the movie itself, and uh, I don't know. And I know that Colleen Hoover herself is very polarizing for a lot of people, so I, I don't know, man. Uh, I'd be interested to hear you guys' thoughts, though. Hi, kids. I always want to say the stupid Eminem line. I know. That's I know. what I thought you were going to say. No, I just stopped myself. Oh. My little braids are so short. I can't wait for them to regrow. Every time I look at myself with like the long hair with all the blonde and all that from like last October, I'm like, oh, why'd you cut it? Why'd that's you cute? Why'd though. you cut that? You look younger. Oh, uh, well, that's fine, I guess. So, oh, there it is. We're at the outlet mall right there. That's the outlet mall. That's noily poily back there. We are on the hunt because uh, we actually, oh, I'm also cosplaying as a cowgirl today. Okay. We're going cowgirl. to school and people are going to see her cosplaying as a cowgirl. <laughs> I got the boots and everything, girl. I, I'll get out and show you the fit. Uh, but the shirt and the skirt is from Hollister and I just love them so much I wanted to wear them. And then I was like going to wear my white bands and now I was like, no, yeah, go for the boots. You should wear the boots. So the boots are from Arula and I use the boot stretching spray on my left one. Right one fits fine. Arula is a plus size brand. So uh, they are like the plus size sister of Altered State. State. I, yeah, just had to throw this on. Kids are get their, they get their school schedules today. They're very excited. We're actually going to the school today. But I kept making an order twice. I did it twice. We went to American Eagle yesterday and I was like, hmm, we went to Journeys. Hmm, I was looking around. I want to get a pair of Birkenstocks, like the clogs for the fall. Tell Nala she should get a pair, but she's like, oh no, absolutely not. Uh, we'll see. I mean, we'll see if she comes around to it. I might. I think she might too. Uh, but I just wanted something I could wear with like some, you know, tall socks and just something for the fall uh, that's not a full on boot. And I ordered it because American Eagle has them and I'm like, cool, maybe I'll earn rewards, yada yada. I ordered it last night. I wake up this morning, order's canceled. Uh oh, <laughs> okay. So I hop on, I order it again, and I throw on a pair of New Balances that I've been checking out forever. And I place my order. I'm like, cool, it's going to be here in two days. Love that because I have Shop Runner. If you don't have Shop Runner, it's free. Get Shop Runner. Just sign up for Shop Runner. It gives you free two day shipping. Do that again. Boom, cancels again. And I was like, you know what? Quit it. <laughs> but then I saw that they're in stock at the outlet. So here we are. We're going in. We're not going to be here all day. Oh, and we're also going to check out the Pottery Barn outlet because we're, I mentioned you guys, we're going to read Janelle's room. And um, I, I just want to check it out and see if they have any any of the stuff that she wants. Just see if they have it here because 
obviously I'd rather get it for a freaking outlet price. I don't think the purse really works with this fit, but the rest of it does. Hold on, Here's I gotta adjust. Fit. I gotta adjust. Here's mom's fit. Let me, this is like when Louis' voice is over, except it's Nala. Welcome back to Nala Ray, guys. Okay, so the sunglasses are real cute. I don't know where they're from. Key Australia, period. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Um, her bag is from, actually, Louis Vuitton, if you can't tell from it, saying Marc Jacobs all over it. I do always say that it's a, uh, I never say Marc Jacobs. I always say the other one. Uh, dang, what do I say? Oh, I know what you're talking about. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, it starts with an M. The score is, I forget where. Hollister. Hollister. It has the shorts and it has pockets. Top is Hollister too, I think? Yes, ma'am. Let's go. And then the shoes are Rula, like she said. Yes. Hi, guys. It's me. My hair is really pretty today. Mom did it. My hair is always pretty, but especially today. Well, yeah, I went with the braids to cosplay, you know, to a full cosplay, obviously. I don't even know if my friends will recognize you. What? That's a joke. My friends really like my mom. They're saying, they say, they're like, yeah, she's really cool. I like her friends. Yeah. They should be like, she's so scary. No. She's horrifying. Literally. They it's because, it's because. It's, yeah. We, we the this summer, do you know how many times moms bought Jimmy John's? Um, at least. Ten how about this? We get a free uh, sandwich like every time because of how cause of how often that's we get it. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of Jimmy John's. We took I Jaden shopping yesterday and he was like, "No, I don't want anything else. I don't need anything." Yeah. I was like, "Wow." I was like, "You want to go to the outlet mall?" He's like, "No." no. It's so Jaden is such the opposite of me. He has a ton of clothes. No, I bought him a ton of stuff for school. Yeah, Jaden, I just love looking at clothes. He does not. I do. I don't know why he said he does. We're going modern zone. I'm closing this. Back in the home, um, making food. She showed me a recipe one time and I thought I could replicate it. She did do me the favor of sending me a screenshot of the ingredients. But none of the actual, what's it called? Directions. Directions. I made um, sweet potato fries in the air fryer for Jaden. Just dive in and let me know what you think first. Late. Oh, hi. Wrong way. I'm running late, but I just wanted to give you a two-second pop-in to say that color wow stuff. Wow, <laughs> it works so well. And I did a half-assed, um, I did a half-assed like blow dry this morning because I was in a rush. Dog, can you chill? There's a motorcycle up my the tube right now. I can tell he's gonna pass me which is um, illegal. No, in some places you're allowed to uh, drive in between the cars and stuff. The dog is following me this whole time. Anyway, I was running late this morning, so my blow dry was very like halfway done and I only got to spend, I think like nine minutes doing it. And my hair had been soaking basically because I woke up and took a shower because I had a uh, gel in my hair last night. Dude, all I did was spray it down with some color wow. The, to be honest with you, the wash and shampoo, like the shampoo condition this morning, even that didn't hit quite right. I was like, what? what is wrong with, this? it's not my favorite shampoo and conditioner, but it's supposed to be good for like hair growth or whatever. And I have a lot of little teeny hairs growing between the different things that I'm doing. So something's working, I don't know what it is. It doesn't normally leave my hair feeling super soft or, or particularly lovely or hydrated or anything. However, color wow stuff is so good. I only bought the trial size one because I didn't know if I was gonna like it. And the trial size one I think was like, like 12 bucks. So I'm gonna assume that the full size one is probably like double that maybe like 30 bucks so um i haven't needed it yet but I, I do think whenever i run out i'm gonna use it because that's a yeah i don't know what it's supposed to be but you know and you know what else i noticed is the days following me blowing my hair out freaking my hair looks lovely it doesn't normally do that normally by day two or three it it just looks like whatever it is but with this one like it stays looking nice and kind of almost bouncy is bouncy the right word i don't know girl but that's that's a good product what do you think you want a couple mm -hmm. might i suggest you don't take your daughters to target i suggest i rebuttal that i suggest that you take your daughters to target why what good are they there they their money's no good them. there they don't take pretend money my money is not pretend. yeah it is actually yeah okay, if i'm around Hey guys, hope you can see me from down here. Just give me a minute. 
is the world's tiniest bag. I'm really trying to make it work, like, but it does not fit much. You guys get jammed in there too. There's not a whole lot in here though. If I had fake nails on, there'd be glue in there too, but I cleaned the grill today, so there is no fake nails. Getting Lewis a smoothie, because he gets smoothies sometimes. Smoothie's almost $14, which is insane to me. Um, however, his friend owns this place, so we're just supporting supporting the family here. Not the family, actually, but we're not related. Supporting the crew right now. No, that's okay. We don't need a gift card. We're gonna support. You gotta support. When your friends are selling things and doing stuff, you have to support. You see how like you tried to give it to Lauren for free, but she was like insisting that she pay you? She's trying to support, dog. No, but still, it's like... Like when I can give Ashley stuff for free, I can be giving it to her if I can. But I, she'll order Lauren too, she'll order things. Feels. Which is how some people are. I like that too, I don't want people paying for my stuff. And as a kid, when I really couldn't afford it, I definitely didn't want anybody paying for anything. I never wanted to feel indebted. And even if you don't make her feel like that way ever, it's just, you can't change it. Thank you. you Thank you, you too. Oh, it's a huge smoothie. I guess I understand why it's $14. <laughs> that was actually a lie. I still don't understand it. That's a huge smoothie though. Originally, he wanted me to make him the pistachio latte because I figured out how to make it. And I made it for myself, which I showed you guys, hot and cold, and then I made it for Lewis because he was obviously like the ultimate judge on that because I was literally replicating it for him. And he said it was even better than the coffee shop, dog. We got it. Golden. Five golden stars for us. Uh, yeah. So now he waits for me to make it. Morning pumpkins. I think I'm going to bike ride with Lewis when he gets back from the gym, so... I dress accordingly. I just hopped out of the shower and we're going to pack Jaden's little Applelicious. That sounds fun. We're going to pack his little um, school bag thing. Apparently the little bag I bought him was too ladylike. Where's that? <laughs> it's just clear, but it is kind of shiny and it does have a gold zipper. And Yeah. Anyway, I'm picking that back. And I got him little letters and he didn't want those. So taking those back too. But we're gonna go ahead and pack this little bag. I did end up finding a bag upstairs. I asked him if he's cool with this one. He said, yep. I don't know where I got this. From Rock SJP Edition. Oh, you went to Target and you got him that bag? No, I went to my bedroom and got him this bag. You already had it? Yeah, I got Target at home. Oh, that's great. Bag. Uh, the idea is that, you know, middle schoolers. We make mine. Have some sense. <laughs> you need me to make yours? Yeah, I'll give you the things that you can set them up there. It's great. I don't know how pretty this is gonna be, but right now he has his deodorant upstairs, the one that I bought him for his backpack, but we're gonna put some of these dude wipes in there, and these are the single-use little dude wipes. There's also have like the packets. The shower pill is what we normally use, and those you just pull out one at a time, so might end up using those, but we saw these at Walmart the other day, so uh, they come in a box with way more than these, but they're upstairs. That would be to like wipe his armpits if he needs to reapply his deodorant. Gonna give him one of these little bad boys. Oh, it's just a hand sanitizer. Spray kind. Make sure it sprays, it does. Applelicious? I've never had this one. Applelicious goes crazy. He always wears lotion. He goes, he's like probably the only person in the house that actually, actually him and Lewis wear more lotion than me and Ollie combined probably. He likes Vaseline's lotion. He really likes the cocoa butter one, the brown one, but they didn't have that in a mini, so I'm just gonna give him this one. But still Vaseline, so it's good. Little Cottonelle wipes, just in case. You never know, you never know. And then I did get him wet ones in case of he needs those one day too. And the wet ones are kind of heavy, so that I only gave him because the kids don't always get to go back to their locker and they don't always have time to go to their, uh, like they, yeah, they have to keep stuff in their backpacks, um, especially Jaden's locker situation this year. It's pretty asinine where they put his locker because it's completely away from literally every single class. It's in the other and hallway. that's how my lockers used to be in high school too. Like they didn't care what your classes were in high school. Normally they do. But in middle school, normally they they do try to, cause they segregate the kids basically almost by like hallway, depending on what team you're on. So um, his team is a different than where his locker is pretty much. So it's kind of ass nice. So anyway, all that to say that he can't really go back to his locker because their passing periods are only um, three minutes long. 
and which I think is crazy. Ours used to be six on us. I got him a little travel toothbrush because every blue moon, this kid forgets to brush his teeth. That's a real issue that no one should have to deal with. So toothbrush and toothpaste, just in case. That's just gonna hang out in there. More likely though, he'll be using these like in case he has, you know, cause I sent him to school with real food. Like sometimes he's just having our dinner and our dinner is gonna smell sometimes like onions and garlic and whatever. So he's gonna get the little wisps and these have that drop toothpaste in them. So you put it like in your back teeth, click down basically and it pops it. And then you can scrub your teeth and you can pick your teeth because it has a toothpick on the other end. <laughs> Both of the kids are obsessed with aquifer. So I'm just gonna give him one at a time. Yeah, I'm gonna give him one at a time because I have this other little area here where I'm gonna keep stuff for him. So there's one in there. He also has a tendency to make a mess of himself. Don't we all? So he gets a Tide to Go pen. Although I'm thinking of giving him the shout wipes, we'll see. Tide to Go pens work really well though, so I'm fine with that. I know it can be annoying to need a pair of nail clippers like while you're at school and stuff, so I got him a little mini pack. So. I already have one of the, I have a little like nail I got him one. a little mini one to take. And then the kids are obsessed with gum, shocker. I know, absolutely shocking. If it's, you have a child, I'm sure you're shocked right now. Kids are obsessed. We're not allowed to have it in elementary school, but we can have it in most classes. They're obsessed with gum and I they're not to be trusted. So I do buy these big packs. I try to even get the bigger packs from Sam's. I think Sam's has even bigger packs, but whatever. I got those at uh, Target because that's only eight bucks. Not that it's only eight bucks, but it's eight bucks. So each one ends up being a dollar. And that's way better than when I buy them individually. So he gets one pack of his gum and I'm just gonna go ahead and open it for him because no sense in him collecting trash in there. Fresh pack of gum. I let the kids have chewable Tylenol. They always ask me before they take it. So I just pack it for them because every now and again, they need it. Jaden will also be adding um, allergy medicine in case he forgets to take it. He has, he'll have like a little pack just like this where he can slip it in there. For him, I think that's it. He has a deodorant, like I said, whisks, whisks. And then he has room for his deodorant in here. And this little baggie right here, this is gonna live in his backpack and it's gonna get all smooshed around and beaten to hell in the bottom of his backpack probably. <laughs> I don't care. This is gonna stay in his backpack because he needs it and it's gonna be a nice little kit for him to have in case he needs to refresh a little bit. I have two little baggies, cause... She's a girl. Yeah. I'm gonna go get them there upstairs. Be right back. So this is stuff you don't need to access unless that you often. need to access yeah. it. So a tie to go. Now I got the mini one. I need to access that quite a bit actually. Grow up. Gel. Gel. I often or not that often? Gel and leave-in at least once a week. Daily though. No, not daily. But normally once a week or every other week. Aquifer is daily. Aquifer is daily. She's probably spraying herself daily. Yeah. Can I do it in the morning, but sometimes I forget in the morning. Do for the bo? Not very often. I really? No, I only I only forgot once last year. SPF. SPF. Um, not very often. Just in case I forget to. Sanitizer. Daily. I like my clean hands. Oil removing clothes. sheets. Blotting sheets. Yeah. Blotting papers. Yeah, I love these. I do use these. Daily quite a bit. or not daily? Multiple times a week or no? Multiple times a week. I remember to do things at home. Makeup not removing wipes. Often. Not very often. No. These I love. So they have a regular one and it's just a Vaseline stick. And I use it on my heels and stuff and then I put socks on. But this is a shimmer one, I guess. This is the Coco Shimmer Jelly Stick. This is the Coco stuff Jaden likes, except I didn't think he wanted a shimmer stick. Let's see. Sometimes oh. Nala's hella dry. I don't know, your arm, I guess? Go ahead, rub it in. Ooh, I'm shiny. Maybe I'm on your elbows? Your yeah, elbows are dry, girl. You know what's dry? These knees. These <laughs> okay. knees are dry, girl. Got I have on. so many scars dry them, on my legs and my girl. knees from softball. You need to be using those probably on a daily basis. Yeah. We'll, we'll throw it in. I, have it. She I has, keep the gum in a different pocket in my bag because I use it. She might need an extra. Yeah. You never know. Might need an extra in case I forget to bring it. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be so mad. She doesn't need these that often. So these will go back at They'll go by my Chromebook dropper, which I only take out when my Chromebook. She's gonna use, use these it. fairly often. I left this one more open because it's easier to get to yeah. what you need versus those, which you're barely gonna use it. So. Yes, these are probably like once a month items. Yes! yes. Smash 
backpack is like perfect. Let me show you my backpack. Um, I love this brand. I've been using this backpack. Me For and Jaden have both been using this brand since sixth grade. It's basically this exact backpack, just repurchased in different colors. Yeah. Quite large. So because this is empty. But it will extend and get yeah. pretty big. The front has big pockets. Like this is a massive this pocket that can hold quite a bit. They could put like an iPad or something if they had that in here. They have a yet another slightly smaller pocket and this one, you know, your calculators, whatever. Calculator. And then in here, you know, they could put something they wanted to easily access. Or gum. Or gum wrappers, which is what ends up in literally every pocket is gum and wrappers. This is where I put my phone not my phone. Then it has a huge center cavity here. And it does have this little thing, but we it's not it. its not padded. So you're probably not gonna put your computer there. You're probably gonna put it in the back where it is padded. This is where I could put my computer, my orchestra binder, because we have to take it back and forth. And, and this is a very thick, thick padding in the back, so it's good on their backs or whatever. Like and, and obviously they have, you know, things for their water bottles. Whatever. I keep my water bottle inside my backpack. So it's a huge backpack. I wanna say they're like, we get them at Target, and I think it's like Embark is the brand. It's, it's written right here. Embark. Anyway, yeah, we highly recommend that particular backpack. Yes. Kids are big fans of it. I love them. I, I like it too. Them. I like it less, and it's not, you know, an $80 backpack because backpacks are getting a little outrageous now too. I have a lot of work to do. Today's actually Saturday. Um, kids start school here in a couple days. I know. It's Saturday. I have a ton of work to do um, this upcoming week. I need to do some today, but this upcoming week I definitely have a lot. I'm trying to kind of get back into the hang of recording on like regular days, like specific days. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. And then we have like Jaden's birthday later this month, and um, I think that's kind of it. For Just have like back to school stuff going on. Just kind of getting back in the groove, you know? Sometimes it can take a little bit. I'm getting into, I think I showed you guys meal prepping and stuff like that. So kind of trying to test some recipes and get some ideas. And I'm spending a lot of time on the internet, kind of looking what other people are doing, getting some ideas of like different meals and stuff. Braid of Jaden's hair. <laughs> His do-rag came off, so it's all crazy. But um, I also did not have the right gel. Good to know that it's long enough that I can do it. I haven't done it in like over a year. And we're gonna go get him lined up, hopefully. I request an appointment for Tuesday, so. If he okay, that we'll go that day. D23 happened yesterday. Oh, D23.